Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Adam and welcome to Battle of the Beast. Battle number 19, Specials Generation. Spyros the Ghost Phoenix versus Kreta the Winged Terror. I did not have to look at that just to remember it. I, can, I always remembered. I just wanted confirmation. And I forgot it. But that is besides the point. So, yeah, we got these two fighting each other. It's just the start of round three. We're now down to our final seven, and these two are opening up the round. Um, now, with the matchups I got, like I did with the last round and the round before, I ordered them from the one that I see least interesting to most interesting. And considering this seems like a rather interesting match as it is, and this is the most in uninteresting to me, this is saying something. What are the other two fights? Only time will tell. Um, I'm afraid it's only going to be the one fight today, though, because um, it's one of the few times I'm actually home alone for once. And also, quite frankly, I just came home from work and I'm exhausted. So I'm just going to get one out because um, I'm only getting this one out because I got a friend who's catching up on Beast Quest, like reading the entire series. At the moment, um, she has the first series and Vedger and Crime on. When I see her on Tuesday... She's going to be swapping Series 1 for Series 2 and Vedra and Kraman for Spyros. And um, chances are, I if Spyros wins, I won't be going on to Round 4 just yet. And she'll be done with that one. She'll be done with this by that time. And if Spyros loses, then she can uh, borrow it for even longer. The point is, she knows I need these books. Um, and she won't take too long doing it. Uh, reading them so um quite frankly i completely trust that i just decided to get this out of the way so then we know round three is underway um i just can't promise when the other episodes will be out but that being said let's get into this battle so um obvious thing first size difference obviously cressa cressa is obviously the larger beast i i did search it up i didn't think i had to but I just thought it would be better to be safe than sorry. So, um, yep, Cressa is a larger beast compared to these two, which is no surprise to me. And with that being said, let's get into the battle. So, um, with round two, I did all the battles outside the combat arena. And, yeah, it was alright. But, and I only did that because I had a comment in, oh, Falcor versus Vedra, I think it was. Or Vedra versus Falcor. Where this person wanted battles to be outside the combat arena. And yeah, I understand why you wanted that. At, because it gives a change in background. But quite frankly, I had a hard time deciding where they're going to fight. So I'd rather stick to the combat arena. I did the entire of round two for that reason. And um, I will do it at, for at least one round in future tournaments. But I'm sticking to the combat arena for the others. Because I did it for the first round in the old gen in the old generation. Second round in the new generation. No, in the special generation. New generation, probably gonna be the first round or something. I don't know. It depends really what the matchups are, really. Um But with that being said, combat arena for now. Uh so <laughs> unfortunately the landlord for the for the combat arena. Bless him. God bless him. Uh, so, <laughs> that's all I need to say, really. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this. So, um, as these two beasts exit from their chambers, they both flee for the sky exit. Spyros flies up in a ball of fire. I watched Kung Fu Panda recently, so ball of fire is relatively fresh in my brain. And Spyros looks over, and what she sees is a swarm of insects swirling round in like um double helix formation i think it is so they're like two separate um lines going up just intertwining with each other just going round and round to where they just combine can come crash into each other where they just form the massive monstrosity that is monstrosity that is creta honestly i love the description but i'm just really ashamed i can't describe the description um <laughs> 
Oh my god, I have a severe case of the giggles today. Uh, so Spyros um, immediately conjures up a fireball and lobs it towards Cressa. Cressa decides to stay where she is and just reform herself to where the entirety of her head going through her body to uh, going through her body just makes a doorway for the fireball just to go through. And it just goes into the distance, never to be seen again. Probably burning down a forest by now. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I have such an obnoxious laugh. Uh, <laughs> oh god, that's, go that's going to throw me off now. Um, whilst Cressa was reforming herself, herself though, she looks back to where Spyros is and she's gone! <gasps> Where'd she go? She looks down, she looks up, she looks left, she looks right, nowhere to be seen. But where is she? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm only hosting what I see in my mind. Uh, oh, what is wrong with me today? Um, uh, so, Kreta flies towards, or flies or strides, I don't know which one it is. Flies towards the middle of the arena and just um, lands on the ground, looking around for where Spyros is. And just for a brief minute, Cressa hears a wing beat and she um, flings her claw up towards that, like completely detaching it from herself, going up into millions of tiny st stabias, going towards that general direction and uh, going up into the clouds. And uh, we hear a brief squawk, um, just like, Caca! what the what was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, just a little caca. Um, as in saying that, oh, Cressa has hit Spyros. But what Spyros does is actually fly down to the ground and um, uh, going towards Cressa now, flinging fireballs directly towards Cressa. Cressa's able to dodge all of it by reforming herself to dodge all her fireballs. And Spyros gets the idea of lobbing uh, more fireballs, but this time purposely missing Cressa. Was every now and then throwing some to hit Cressa, and um, some of the ones that weren't intentionally going towards Cressa get uh, Cressa gets hit by because she's trying to dodge the one that was aimed for her. But, but without Cressa noticing, she's surrounded by a forest of fire. Oh, no, a circle of fire. Where did that come from? It, I tell you that it came from the last battle. Spyros, Spyros has seen the last battle, so copycat. Uh, copy Phoenix. I meant. Uh, but yeah. Cressa is now trapped in a ring of fire. But there's one thing that Cressa has. That's Jakara didn't. She can fly. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with me today? Uh, Cressa just flies high. So then she just doesn't need to worry about the fire. Uh, Spyros has figured out a solution for that. And just flies straight towards Cressa. Cressa lifts her front. Uh, claws ready in front of her face, ready to just uh, catch Spyros by the wings. And what Spyros does is that she goes uh, ghost mode, but realizing that she can't go ghost mode through solid objects, it doesn't go through Cressa, and Cressa just cr clamps her claws on Spyros's wings. So what Spyros does is that she goes back to a normal form, where it starts blazing, where she starts blazing up. Burning the stabius that's in that um, is on Cressa's claws, but whilst Cressa's claws are injuring Spyros's wings, what Cressa does, she lifts as hard high as she can and slams Spyros down into the ground. Oh my God! <laughs> slams Spyros down into the ground. Ah, oh, such a wonderful creature, and it gets slammed into the ground. Of course, I would do that. <laughs> uh, whilst Cressa is. Um, Shaking off the burnt stabias from her claws. She's reforming herself. Shrinking ever so slightly. Just to um, make them all fresh and sharp. She uh, lifts. She um, flies up above Spyros. And uh, just detaches her wings. Where they just come into her claws. And she just falls down. Directly on top of Spyros. Spyros sees that. Conjures up a fireball. Chucks it up. But with the... Um, with the sabias that were connected to her wings, she uh, connects to her claws, forming a shield where it just burns them up. And she um, 
and Kreta lands directly on Spyros, pinning her to the ground. Kreta opens her jaws wide and bites directly into Spyros' neck um, with her main claws. So, uh, there with her main claws. So, these and with her mandibles, I think they're called mandibles there, just um, crunches up on the. Uh, so, crunches up with the beak and the chest there and just pulls it out while still pinning her down. Um, just literally ripping out her throat. Uh, just to make sure the deed is done, Cressa lifts up one of her claws and just slashes at Sparrow's head, slashing out an eye and a ton of feathers, leaving, it, leaving a pool of blood, a waterfall of blood. Just to come out of Spyros completely. The flames on Spyros extinguishes. And Spyros is no more. That's grim! That is really grim! I'm not even joking! That's grim for me! So the winner is Kreta. The loser is Spyros. Now, um... I will point out the elephant in the room for this fight. Um... Yeah, I know in Pokemon, fire beats bug. But that will be too obvious. I went how I thought it would go. And, um, technically, if I only, like, if my mind made Spyros actually remember that ghosts can't go through solid objects or gas, so it couldn't go through stabias, let's say, or rocks or boulders or anything... Then, if I made Spyros remember that, then the story may have been different and it may have been a more drawn out fight. But as my mind was like, oh, I'm going to commit to that, um, unfortunately, Cressa was able to get the advantage. It wasn't without pain and sacrifice for Cressa, though, losing a fair amount of Stabius, but not enough. For that, unfortunately, I had to give the victory to Cressa. Um, Spyros would... It, this was a close fight, in my opinion. Because it could have gone either way. Um, but I wanted to try and make a fight where... Hmm, just because it looks like one's at a disadvantage, it doesn't mean they're gonna lose. Um, just... I mean, look at some of my Pokemon videos, for example. Those are very prime examples. Um, something else to say about this fight... Um, I remember back in all genera in the old generation tournament, I remember just going on and on of how brutal and bloodthirsty Hawkeye was, because she disemboweled Epos and murdered Cronus and another beast. I can't remember what it, that other one was, but I just remember that every kill Hawkeye got was brutal. And then there's this one, then there's Kreta with a kill on Spyros, which in my opinion is more brutal than Hawkeye's kills. Because, um, like, okay, the way I described it may not sound that brutal, like ripping out the neck and then slashing out the eye and leaving the waterfall blood down her face where the flame just extinguishes. Yeah, doesn't sound too gr gory. But the way I picture it, though, it doesn't set right. And if you're wondering why Spyros didn't just fly away, if it wasn't obvious already, for those who do not, uh, did not listen fully, I'm not saying that any of you didn't, but when Kreta caught, like, um, like, gripped onto Spyros' wings, she dug her nails into Spyros, which burnt the stabias, but also injured Spyros' wings to the point where she can't fly. That's why Spyros just fell down to the ground. And that's also why Spyros didn't fly away. She could have moved away, yeah, but she probably would have um, still got crushed because of how large Kreta actually is. So for that, Kreta got the victory, Spyros got the loss. If you think Spyros should have won, please leave in the comments below why you think that. Unfortunately, my word is final. And with that, Kreta is the first of the final four beasts to make it through that you guys know of. And when I say you guys know of, I mean me and Lucas already know what one of them already is. Because there's seven beasts and only three fights. So, yeah, we already have one going through. But I'm going to save that for battle three of round three. So then, uh, 
you get to know what the last what the last two of the final four is in the last episode of round three. I wish that made sense. Um, but yeah, Cressa is in the semi-finals of the special generation, and quite frankly, this one I was really surprised to actually make it this far. But um, when I saw her match up against Sparrows, I was like, oh damn. She might make it. <laughs> she might make it. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, but that being said, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Join me in battle number 20 of Specials Generation, where we have a couple of... Uh, a, re a, a really good pair in here, in my opinion. Um, I don't really want to spoil it, but let's just say... Uh, there's a really big size difference on one of them compared to its opponent, and one which has shown to be very formidable already. That's all I'm going to describe about that, and that being said, peace out.